Hello friends, I'm Dr. Sonika Krishan and today I want to talk to you about immunity that is our uh, body's resistance, uh, resistance to fight against disease. So we are all gifted with this immunity power and then we should know that how we can enhance it when it holds. That is what Ayurveda would tell you about. Now because Ayurveda considers there are two factors, one is Vyadhi Kshamatva that is your a basic uh, resistance against disease and the second factor is Bal. Bal is your basic strength that will keep you uh, away from the diseases and that is how you could be having a, a great immunity. Now there's three types of immunity as described in Ayurveda text. One is Sehaj immunity. Sehaj is your constitutional immunity and then uh, now what is Sehaj immunity? Let me tell you all this first. Now, Sehaj immunity is the constitutional immunity of an individual. Uh, this means that uh, this is your basically it's an innate immunity that we all get when we are in the uh, mother's womb. At the time of fertilization, uh, in the form of fetus, we are gifted with this kind of immunity or the Sehaj immunity. And it is supported by natural factors uh, like the health and strength of the uh, sperm of the father and the ovum of the mother and the quality of the place and the uh, time and everything during the period of conception and when the uh, child is only as a fetus in the mother's womb. So that is the time when uh, we are naturally gifted with this immunity that is the Sehaj. The next type is the college immunity. Now college is the uh, temporal invulnerability of an individual as against naturally during the lifetime because naturally there are some factors that are going to enhance and help to build our immunity like being in the young age. Young age is the time you'll be having a wonderful immunity all by yourself and uh, having a good moral character. This is very much supportive according to Ayurveda, they give good focus on uh, you having a good moral character and the right seasonal support. So all these factors, they take up the uh, college immunity. College is with time, you'll be having a wonderful immunity all by yourself. And the third type is the Yuktija immunity. Now Yuktija is the acquired immunity. This is the natural immunity that we are going to acquire through uh, following the right rules of uh, following the right diet rules and the lifestyle uh, also uh, because this is uh, the the diet pattern and the everyday lifestyle that we lead this is going to help us manifold to acquire the uh, immunity the, that's the acquired immunity or the natural immunity that we'll be having that is uh, yuktej so there are a number of uh, Ayurveda herbal formulations that help uh, and uh, they are extremely supportive to uh, help us build our natural immunity, the acquired immunity and let me share with you this uh, with you now. Now according to Ayurveda, how are you going to build your natural immunity? I want to tell you first about this and then we will come up uh, with the Ayurveda herbs for you. Now. Uh, Ayurveda believes that a happy disposition of your mind, if you are happy, in the state of happiness, you will be having a natural immunity, it, it, whatever the immunity you are having, it is going to be enhanced, just be happy, just be uh, free from all sorts of worries and that is how you can be uh, building your natural immunity. Then Ayurveda also lays emphasis on the sattvic te temperament of your mind, you know, you should be following the right uh, moral rules. You, you should be having a wonderful character that is also going to enhance your immunity uh, because it is going to uh, strengthen you uh, basically uh, on all grounds of you know physical psychological and spiritual uh, grounds so that is how it's going to help you and uh, also you know being fit and energetic try to keep yourself as healthy as possible for you this is another help that you're going to give yourself to build your natural immunity and then yoga it's a wonderful uh, form of exercise, a wonderful form of uh, balance of the you know holistic uh, mind, body and soul. And that is why it is uh, actually uh, this physical exercise is also recommended in Ayurveda that is going to help you to enhance your uh, basic body immunity.
you can stay away from diseases by practicing yoga, asanas and pranayama, deep breathing techniques every single day. And then uh, uh, also, uh, Ayurveda relates that your uh, natural immunity, you know, uh, it uh, there are so many factors I just told you about, like the birth uh, of an, uh, uh, as a baby, because when the person is born in a healthy environment, this is going to enhance the immunity and uh, in the time of the year, the seasonal uh, disposition, that is going to also matter uh, because this affects the uh, body's basic uh, uh, constitution as well as the mental temperament. So that is how you know, these factors influence the uh, immunity power and that is how uh, if you understand the, these factors, you could enhance your uh, basic immunity and there's some Ayurveda herbs. I'll just coming uh, to that. Uh, now, yes, friends. Now, let me share with you about the Ayurveda herbs that are going to help to build the immunity or the resistance against disease. Now, uh, generally, if we uh, understand, uh, there are so many, uh, because we are, you know, uh, made up of uh, seven tissues or dhatus. These are Ras, Rakta, Maas, Med, Asti, Majja and Shukra. Or Ras is the juice. Juice makes the blood and uh, from blood it is mass is muscle, then made is the body fat, asti is bone, uh, matcha is bone marrow and shukra is semen in uh, males and avam in the females. So that is how and then there is the natural essence, the entire after uh, you know building up of all these tissues in the body, there is a the essence is ojas. Now ojas is regarded as your natural immunity. Just keep your ojas uh, nicely. Uh, it, if it is built up very nicely, you should be having a wonderful digestion, wonderful uh, detoxification. That is how you'll be having a wonderful ojas in itself. So, but then uh, mm, there are so many herbs that are going to help you, support you very well. Like amla, like uh, muletti, ashwagandha. Then there are ginger, there is basil, that is tulsi, and uh, turmeric, brahmi, uh, there is large cardamom, even the smaller cardamom, that is churi, laji. Like these are all are going to help you a lot. And also there are so many, uh, our uh, ingredients in the food that, that we can be having even more often, that like honey, like cow's milk, like uh, cow's ghee, or the clarified butter, that uh, can be made at home. So that is all, all of these are going to help you. Now let me... Uh, tell you about um, the Ayurveda herbs that are specified for enhancing your natural immunity. Now about the top six herbs I'll be telling you that are going to help you enhance the basic body immunity, the natural immunity you'll be having and that, that is how you, you can be more healthy. Now the first herb is uh, Angla. Angla that is Indian gooseberry and uh, this is a wonderful herb in itself you should be because this is a, a greater source of vitamin C other than it is having so many uh, rejuvenating and uh, revitalizing effect on the body uh, it, it is a storehouse of all these properties uh, natural properties and also it balances all the three dosha the three dosha they have to be balanced vata dosha pitta dosha and kapha dosha vata is air pitta is fire and kapha is phlegm avla helps to balance all the three dosha that is how it helps to enhance the natural immunity also and then uh, how you can be taking Avla you can be taking uh, it very easily in the form of Avla Morabha that is easily available or you can be taking dried Avla or uh, you know dried Avla powder is also available you can be taking it in the form of juice or uh, you know fresh juice can be extracted from the Avla fruit and uh, there is a Arida we have that uh, uh, wonderful ingredients uh, uh, other than Avla also they take a combination of Chavan Prash so you can be taking Chavan Prash every day and uh, take Avla in any form but it helps to enhance your natural immunity now the herb number two that is turmeric turmeric or Haldi or Haridra as called in Ayurveda uh, which is wonderful because uh, it also helps to balance uh, all the three doshas the vata dosha pitta dosha and kapha dosha and in case there is an aggravation of the uh, any of these doshas that could be resulting into formation of disease so it helps to reduce the aggravation also so that is how you know uh, uh, turmeric is also a wonderful herb for you it helps to build the 
immunity it is uh, it, it can be recommended in so many problems actually wide variety of ailments like starting from common cold type uh, and uh, you know uh, itching in the skin it can be for you know uh, uh, for the joint pains for the and kind of swellings in the body uh, if you're having a low immunity just take it as a boost and the recommended dosage I always advise uh, taking off raw turmeric and uh, that is amba haldi that is called as and uh, one to three grams is the recommended dose you can be taking it with uh, warm water or with warm milk and uh, it it could be helping you so much to enhance your uh, basic body immunity uh, in Ayurveda we have an Ayurveda formulation by the name Haridra Khand so that can also be taken but then of course you should always uh, talk to your uh, Ayurvedic uh, physician or Vaidya before taking the uh, any medicinal uh, supplement of the the third herb that I would suggest very strongly that is ginger or adrak that is called as Mahabhashaj Mahabhashaj means something that uh, every disease is uns unanswerable to this uh, one herb so that is how it is so much recommended in Ayurveda because uh, uh, it balances Vata and Kapha doshas and it naturally enhances your uh, basic body immunity uh, it, it, it is recommended in Ayurveda uh, in wide variety of ailments like in the respiratory ailments in the uh, disorders of specifically in the disorders of uh, cold, cough, uh, pneumonia, asthma, every, uh, all the respiratory diseases uh, it is highly recommended and then um, it can be taken in any form you can take it fresh you can just grate it a little and take it in the fresh form or, or in the dried form or it can be powdered or juiced but any form in any form you should be taking adrak or ginger in your diet every single day herb number four that will help you build up your natural immunity it will enhance your resistance power and that is well known herb called as tulsi tulsi or holy basil uh, now tulsi uh, in hindi uh, it is uh, uh, regarded as tulsi the name is jiski tulna nahi ki ja sakti the herb that cannot be compared it is uncomparable herb and it is wonderful for the uh, it has specific uh, you know properties of being anti asthmatic uh, anti infective it is great for the any kind of respiratory ailments it is great to enhance your uh, body immunity the res resistance power to fight against diseases it is going to empower you so much take it every day in the form of uh, you can be taking fresh juice that can be easily extracted from uh, you know grinding and uh, pounding the leaves of tulsi or uh, uh, you can be taking it uh, twice a day you know it's very easy uh, to be taking tulsi along with adrak or holy basil along with ginger and uh, add some honey to it also so make, make it a resistance uh, portion for yourself and that is how you can keep ailments at bay now the fifth herb that I want to share with you that is Muleti Muleti or uh, this is licorice or Yashti Madhu it is so many names now it is wonderful to enhance your natural immunity and uh, because it has the basic properties it is heavy, it is slimy, it is uh, uh, sweet in taste as well as after taste it helps to decrease the Vata Dosha Vata Dosha if it is balanced it can save you from so many plenty of diseases it is going to uh, you know strengthen you inside out so try to uh, in, take some molletti also every day because uh, it has a natural uh, revitalizing herb and uh, it, the powder of the root of the herb that is uh, recommended in Ayurveda take it every day you can uh, add some ghee that is the clarified butter and uh, also uh, some honey to it and uh, take this powder of the herb because uh, it helps to uh, this portion if you make this and take it every day this is sufficient to increase your natural immunity that is uh, uh, what has been uh, you know uh, mentioned in Ayurveda text and also uh, because it is it has to uh, helps you to stay clear of so many 
physical as well as mental ailments because it is helps to boost your uh, resistance on the levels of uh, you know your physical body as well as it works as a brain tonic so take it every day and also uh, there is another wonderful use that it keeps you away from uh, early aging so please uh, include it in your uh, diet every day mulatti helps to enhance your basic immunity levels now the herb number 6 that i would suggest to boost your immunity levels and that is ashwagandha ashwagandha is an ayurveda herb so you can uh, take it every day because it helps to restore your energy levels and also it helps to build your immunity it's a wonderful uh, tonic both for the body as well as mind it is a stress buster so uh, take it every day and uh, it also is a natural stimulator and a natural rejuvenator this uh, herb you can be taking 3 to 6 grams of this herb uh, in the powder form and uh, you can be taking it with uh, uh, cow's milk a warm uh, glass full of cow's milk that is uh, good for you take the herb of ashwagandha also and uh, all these herbs that I just told you and uh, you know increase your immunity levels so thank you friends it is, it is always wonderful talking to you uh, I keep sharing videos about how Ayurveda is going to help you uh, regain and maintain your natural uh, you know health and fitness immunity plays a very uh, vital role in keeping us away from diseases so uh, please uh, whatever I told you in this video try to you know inculcate these uh, small and little things in your uh, you know diet and lifestyle and that is how you can gain a wonderful immunity stay away from diseases if you like my videos please uh, subscribe to my uh, videos in the youtube channel and uh, you can visit me at my website that is uh, www.drsonikakrishna.com or you can write an email to me at sonikakrishna.gmail.com thank you friends